Hey guys, here's a quick one today. I just wanted to show you what the side vent looks like inside of the R129 SL500. If it matters, this is the uh, pre-facelift, um, so this is off of a 1994, but I don't think that this is any different for the rest of the generations. Um, I'm starting with everything disassembled first to show you um, what's underneath what you're trying to pry open and to pull apart. I thought that might be a better way of going about it because Sometimes when I'm trying to lift these pieces out and unscrew things, I don't know what's underneath and where tabs sit. So we're going to start with it totally disassembled and see what we're looking at. So here, of course, is the uh, hole where the pipe for the air vent is on the right. There are two screw screws, one right there and one right there, two screw holes. This one has um, a washer on it. I don't know if that was stock. It doesn't really look like it to me, but it was in there when I popped in there. This is a small speaker. Um, this bolt up here, you don't need to touch. That hole right there is where another screw will go in and I'll show you that. And then there's a hole right there for some clips. And then this channel in here is where the speaker cover box or speaker cover slides into that. And that will probably be the thing that freaks you out the most if you're trying to pry this open without uh, breaking it. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like underneath. I'll show you a few of the parts and then give you a tip on how I got this stuff out. So the part that goes in the vent looks like this. Okay. And the reason I have mine pulled out is because the clip on either side of that R is actually broken. And so this can separate, uh, or it's, it's not supposed to, but it is separating. So you can see, oops. So I got this detailed a few week, weekends ago and they told me my vents were broken. And I thought maybe they had done it, but actually, no, when you look at it, there's no way that this is done by them and it's on both sides. <laughs> so I think this is just chalked up to um, some of the weird stuff that had happened in previous owners. Um, people trying to, you know, take this stuff out uh, to do some work without actually reading on how to do it. So that's why I'm going to replace these. I just put an order in to go pick up those pieces. Um, so I mentioned those two screw holes right there. They correspond to these right here. And there are two screws that I've got sitting on the floor of the car right now that will go in there. When this goes in, though, on the bottom, you see that and that. If you look, and I'll just take off the grill so you can see it better. There's a little hole right there, and it looks like a pull tab that you can pull up. It's got tension. So basically, as it's sitting in here, those two little things that are sitting downwards or pushing downwards, they clip onto the into there. So once you unscrew this, you can't just pull this out. You have to put, um, what I did is I took two precision screwdrivers and I put one in each of those and lifted and then pulled that up. Uh, well, I just lost that washer, so I'll have to go dig that out of there. Um, anyway, so there's that. This piece is that speaker cover I told you about. And so this is what it looks like. You've got this groove that sits down in here. Same with that. There is a hole back in there that you can throw that into. This piece right here goes in goes in up here okay and then this hole right here sorry about the focus corresponds to that hole right there for a screw <clears throat> okay sitting on top of this piece ah, sorry guys um is going to be this piece right here and it will it will just uh, slide in and snap in. Oops, I have it backwards. So the raised piece goes towards the outside of the car like that. 
and there is a little see that that slides I'm doing this one-handed I apologize slides in there and then there are two clips right here now see one's engaged kind of and then the other one broke so I've also put in an order for that you put this piece back on however after you screw the vent back in through that hole like I said now I'll show you just a little bit here if I just set that in there I'm not going to shove it in right now but the screw is right here and my finger hits the window it's extremely hard to get that screw out so what's my tip for you um, I bought from DeWalt a 45 degree angle bit and I've attached it to just a ratchet screwdriver because I didn't want to use a power screwdriver to do this because that would be a little bit extreme, but that is what worked. And that's what I was able to use to get this out because there's, if you're trying to use a traditional screwdriver, there's just no leverage and your standard little precision screwdriver, this isn't a Phillips head, but I'm pretend it was your, your standard one. You don't have enough leverage when trying to do this to get that out. So if you don't have a 45 degree angle screwdriver, pick one up. Um, other than that, you'll need a pry tool to get this out after you've um, taken off that ledge cap and unscrewed that bolt. You pull this up. Remember, there are two clips in the front here, and those um, will be stuck into the the vent. So when you pull, <clears throat> and then it's in a channel in here, so you can, you can pull out like that. It's not going to feel good. You might feel like you're breaking it. I hope you don't break it, but they do still sell these parts. Uh, Mercedes still sells this part in case you do break it. Um, let me um, put this all back together. I'm going to need two hands, and I'll show you what it looks like assembled. Um, and then maybe a few more pointers if I have them, but otherwise this is a short one. Um, be right back. Actually, real quick, before I go go off and do that, Oh, it's hard to see. There's a little white washer right in there. So earlier when something fell in, that washer fell in and fell down into the tube for the air. So I'm going to get some needle nose pliers and pull that out. All right, it's almost back together, but I wanted to show you this angle and why the 45 degree um, bit is great. So that screw is in there, and like I showed you, it's only a couple of inches from the windshield. If you had a traditional screwdriver, you wouldn't be able to do it very well. And I'm sorry about the glare off my garage. Um, I'm going to screw this back in. Uh, but when I do, because I've got to come back in here again to replace that vent and uh, this top piece right here, I'm not going to screw this in very tight. Um, you may have gotten lucky and maybe it wasn't tight and you could have just gotten this out yourself, but don't tighten it too much. Uh, but yeah, again, the 45 degree angle really saved me on this one. Okay, reassembled. So what I did uh, to reassemble is I put the vent back in. And you can see, you know, I didn't know this was broken because it just sits there. I don't sit here and jiggle this. In fact, there's almost no one ever on the passenger side anyway. But I didn't really know it was in there. And in fact, oh, now it doesn't work. <laughs> well... It was working, but anyway, um, sometimes the left and right was actually still working. So I had no way of knowing this was broken, but it does lift out. Uh, put the speaker cover back in. That's probably the most precarious thing that feels the worst in terms of um, feeling like you're breaking something. But the way I did it was I, I fit it in here at an angle and also in the front got those two clips right here and here down in there. And you just sort of pop it in there. It lays in place. Then of course I put the screw, which is underneath here. I screw that back in with the 45 degree angle bit. And then this piece lays back in there. You put it in this side first, cause it's got that sort of like tongue um, lip in there. It slides in there and then you lay this down on top. There's one clip in here that's broken. So it just sort of sits there. But when you go to take it out, if yours isn't broken, you use uh, your trim tool to gently lift up. Okay, and then you can use the same trim tool to gently lift up here, up and I would say up in this top corner, so we have the most play. 
okay? And then once this is out, then there's those two screws, I'm sorry, then there's these two screws down here after this speaker covers off to release this guy. And then down in here were those two tension nubs that again, I used two precision screwdrivers to pull up on in there and pull out. So um, that was a reverse method of showing you what's going on, but I think I might try and do that more often for you guys instead of showing you how to disassemble. I'll show you it disassembled first so you can get the lay of the land and then put it back together so you can see how it gets put back together. But um, I don't know. I just think if it were me, that'd give me more confidence. Maybe it will for you. Hopefully, it's, hopefully this was helpful. I'll see you guys next time.